studios. Um, we are going to start another project here. I was going to do two Arab cavalry guys, but I decided one is probably enough. I don't want to overdo it. I've been overdoing it quite a bit lately, trying to do too much at once. I just want to concentrate on, this is basically like doing two, so we get a horse and a guy, so that's enough. So we'll just go with one. I put this horse together, American Beast, as the horse. And then we got the little archer Arab guy that goes on it. He's got kind of a bald head with like a little Harry Krishna type hair thing going on. Pretty cool looking. Looks like you just let go of an arrow. Pretty awesome. But we're going to get this guy stabbed onto the skewer. This is always a scary thing to do. As long as I don't stab myself and burn the shit out of myself, it's all good. So let's give it a whirl. Okay. This is... Let's see, I want to do... Right about middle there. Hopefully he's not hollow like that one was one time. Just like... Hopefully he didn't stab me or anything else. Get this son of a bitch hot. Burn everything off of there. Oh, it's just sharp these things. It doesn't matter, it looks red hot. Oh, shoot. Don't stab yourself. That's the main thing. And they're pretty good. Pull it out and cut that little plastic that comes out, forms a little hole there, a little breeze hole. You know what I mean? I can get rid of that right now because at the end when you go put on the horse, that thing gets in the way. I don't want to do that fast. This time I'm going to make sure he fits on the damn horse before I do anything. Oh, okay, that's hot. <laughs> Let's grab something hot. A little freak out here. Okay, see if I went in there far enough. Uh, I think I better hit one more time. I want to make sure it's in there. We got a little too far last time, but it's really hard to get out of there. Only too far, do I want to go not far enough? Oh, that didn't work very well. I missed the hole like three times. You know how that goes. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, don't miss the freaking hole this time. There we go. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting somewhere. Just that around a little bit. Good this time. Get that excess plastic in. Better get it now than before it dries. One more. Yeah, it dries pretty quick, but it's still semi warm. Hold back up. I don't know if you can see that little hole there, but that's where the little tip's gonna go. I'm gonna glue him on this thing so I can paint him all the way around without anything interfering. This time I put a lot less glue than I did last time. I put way too much glue on last time. I had to get the damn pliers to get that Roman guy off there. It took a while. I'll barely get some on the tip. Okay. Mm. A little on the tip here. Get that back in there. Clink. Let that dry. Stuck between the legs and that big deal, it'll melt when you go to put it. As long as you use the plastic and glue, you know, anything's really thin, it'll melt. Stick to the horse. I don't have any big chunks. These are the things I keep on the needle when I'm not using these things, so they don't stab me to death. Um, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, and then we'll come back and put some primer on these dudes. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, let's get some primer on these dudes. I've got a horse and a rider to get primer on, so let's get to it. A little bit of water into that. Um, where's my. Just a little bit of water. Go on here. Probably gonna put. Uh, what's that color? I don't know, that white Citadel paint, but it's for going over with the contrast. I can't remember the name of it. The bone color. I always forget everything. I'm probably getting a smile in my old age here. Let's see. Just get this going. I'm gonna do this down here because I tend to slop it all over the place. One time I did this and it sprayed all over something that I had just about finished. I had to redo the whole thing because I had white dots of primer all over it. I had to set it aside for about a month because <laughs> I was so angry. Lesson learned. I don't think I have anything on the table that's done today. I still have primer all over everything. That was terrible. One of the biggest lessons that I've learned is you not prime new stuff and your stuff is almost done. <laughs> so bury it up or do it underneath the table kind of. So even if there's nothing on the table, it's good practice to do it anyway that way. If you do have stuff up there, still just do it. I really don't want to have to redo something all over again. Uh-uh. Okay. A little bit more water. Probably way too much. This brush just sucks up water. Not the best idea. I'll go over again anyway. And get the first coat of primer on. Yeah, it's really watery. I'm gonna do it again anyway, so it's all good. Get at least two coats, really thin coats of primer. This one's gonna be really thin. The definition of really thin. Okay. Make sure we get that 
fix this off of here. I don't want to be picking any spots. I like do my horses with speed paint. Works out the best. They always look good with speed paint, at least in my opinion. Better than I can do with the other paint. I'll use a combination of both. I could do with everything. Depends on what I feel like doing at the time. Now that's good enough now on that one. So they're both kind of primed up a little bit. Uh, we're going to let them sit and cure, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put some more on there, but I'll probably do it off camera. Next time I come back, we'll be doing some painting. I figure out what colors I want to use on these guys. Think about that for a while. I think I'm going to use this mummy white for the horse and see how that turns out. Uh, brownish gray. That'd be pretty cool. Or it might suck. I don't know. I haven't used that paint ever on the miniature yet. Valley Hill Express color, so that should be really neat. Or it might suck. I don't know. All experimenting here at Dwarf Studios. I like to try different stuff. So we'll be back when we're ready to start painting. All right, we're back here. We're going to paint this horse its color. Some fur, or whatever the hell a horse has. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to use this Mummy White, which is Vallejo Express color. I've never used these paints yet, so this is going to be interesting. I know they're a little more runny than the other speed paints that I've used. Well, maybe not contrast, but more, more than Army Painter. It seems like when I put them on paper, they're kind of runny. But they went on well, so this should be interesting to see how these work out. When I put it on, it may turn out horrible the first time, because I know when I did speed paint Army Painter on the first time a few times, I didn't know what I was doing, and it turned out like crap. But I think I kind of know my way around speed paint now. Can't be too much different, I hope. It's kind of a grayish brown, tan kind of color. It looks like it might be cool. If it looks like that on a horse, it should be pretty neat. So let's give it a whirl, see what it turns out like. Ashley's on. I wear these glasses because my prescription glasses are terrible. These glasses are like 30 years old. I have mighty new ones, but I'm too lazy. I'm not lazy, I just don't like going out public, so I'm an antisocial asshole sometimes. I'm not really an asshole, but I just don't like going out public. Anyway, let's give this a shot. I wonder how many drops. I'm gonna go three drops. One, two, three, and let's go to four looking small looking weird drops. Not there, and let's give this a shot. I don't know about this. I'm a nervous, I'm a nervous. Where should we start? I'll start at the bottom of the legs here. And slap it on and see what it does. Put it on thick. Keep going, just like I do with the others. Hopefully it'll somewhat act the same. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to go over this twice. It's not really covering it. Interesting already. I don't know about this. I may have to go over it two times. I don't know if I'd rather do that with any speed paint. Usually it's a bad thing to go over it. Again, speed paint's supposed to be a one-coat deal, but I don't know if Leo says that about theirs. I haven't really seen any ads or commercials about it or anything. I've just seen it on the stores. Or websites online. Hmm. Yep. Very interesting. Very interesting. It pulls up in the recesses. A little more than I want to. I don't know, man. It's going to be crazy. That's a little more than I want there, so let's keep going. Kind of get a little bit of that out of there. Maybe go on a second coat. Maybe not put it on so thick. Look for a second coat. Good. Definitely going to be a learning curve with this stuff, I think. I don't ruin this horse paint job because I just I don't know what the prime it or paint over it. I don't know. Boom, boom. I think it'll be fine now. Just another coat. That's no big deal. Not good with anything else. Usually don't have to do that with speed paint, but it's not your regular one of the mill that I'm used to speed paint. What in the heck is that? I don't think I was supposed to paint that. It looks like that's the bottom of the blanket there. Okay. Hard to tell when they're white like this, all white, when I'm supposed to paint one not. Here, we'll paint this. I think you just kind of got to go over this with a nice thin layer. It doesn't really act like the other. I mean, it's a really light color. Maybe it's a darker color. That more like I'm used to using darker colors. Start off with. Usually, use dark brown on my horses. I've been one white one. Maybe another white one. At least one white one. Not the only one. Face. Ears, nostrils, nostrils, chin, I'm expecting it to look a little more solid. All right, though. You will figure it out. Just wait, after all. Mummy white. Really white, though. It was light. Okay, did I get it all? We're definitely gonna have to go for a second round. Make sure I didn't pull up anywhere too much. All right. 
in there. Don't want massive pooling ever. Really hard to tell with this paint where it pooled even. Light color. Mm -hmm. Big pools. I don't think that would be a good thing. That slimy look. I don't want slime. I don't know. I don't even know how this stuff looks when it dries. I don't know anything about it yet. So it would be good to have a few little pools. I don't know, but I doubt it. I get a nice layer and go over it again. I can't even tell it's painted. <laughs> Another layer will definitely help. Let that dry. Do it again. I'll come back when I'm ready to do the second coat. I think I'm ready for round two of this muddy white. You know, see, I don't know this stuff might be better as like wash or something. It's really uh, transparent. We'll see what the second coat does. I don't know. I may have to put something over the top of it, like another speed paint or something. We'll see what happens here after this coat. Wow. Wild river, man. Moody. Good. Give this another coat. We got a little thicker this time. See what happens when it dries a little. Nice coat. <laughs> breathing hard. <laughs> I start getting into it, I get a little crazy with breathing. Hope we can hear it. Getting intense here. Paint has me tripping. I look out on his own here with this. Trying to figure out what to do with it. Second coat's looking better though. Like covering better. I don't know if it's the right color for a horse with another wash on top of it. Would be fine. Maybe some strong tone or some light tone or something of that nature. Weird faces. <laughs> yeah, shit. Like a damn monkey one pain. Let me see. Okay. Why is it thick? Not too thick. Got the microphones on in the video. It's so intense at this. Uh, I'm not paying any attention to anything else. Looks like we're good though. Went on quick, I think I got it all. Clean those eyes out. I want them full of paint. I knew I missed something somewhere. I had to have them too fast. Just the butt. <laughs> One way or the other, I think that's the final coat of that stuff. I'm going to have to. I'm either gonna have to put a wash over that, well, I'll have to do that, I'll do that anyway. I think that's the next option. Let's move on, paint everything else, and go over it with light tone or something. Whichever one has like a lighter brown, light tone or a brown maybe. One of those. 
give it kind of a more tan, brownish color. I think it's just a little too bony color. I don't know if you can really tell. You should be able to tell a little more this time. Cool color, but I don't know if it's right for a horse. I was just looking at horse, cream colored horses online. And, yeah, kind of looks like that, but I think after wash, it'll probably darken up a little bit. Look a lot better. But more like the horses I was looking at online. Oh, shoot, this is weather. Yeah, man. Really hard to get everything. Looking, because I probably missed more. It's hard to get the legs. Spindly the legs. You get them all the way around. That's right. Okay, I think it's a good spot. It's looking better though. I think it'll look good with, like I said, a little bit of wash on there at the end. I'm gonna go with the wash on it. Whatever parts I want to wash. Darken it up a little bit. Um, light weird. Okay. Kind of looks like bone color right now. But I think we're done with that for now. Next I'll do I'll do like the straps. I think we'll get like a dark brown for the like leather brown. Or maybe a red brown. I get some awesome red browns. Uh, maybe I'll use some Sodell. I haven't used that in a while. Rhinox hide or something. I don't know. We got some awesome red browns. Can't remember which color is red brown for uh, Sodell, but I think Rhinox might be. I'll have a look see. That's what we'll do next, probably. Maybe the mane and tail. I don't know. I think I'll do those black. That's going to have to wait, though, till the paint dries. Everything's going to have to wait till the paint dries. I paint those black. Mane and tail black. Straps. Reddish brown. Saddle. I'm not sure. I got a pool going online, which probably nobody's going to uh, answer, so I'm going to figure out what color I want this guy to be. And he's probably going to match the saddle and blanket on the back. Nobody answers. I'll make up my own color. I think I'll do probably brown. I don't know. Because I love brown. I'm always looking brown. Brown and yellow. Like gold. That's what I was going to do. Golden brown. That's probably what I'll do if nobody answers the poll. Anyway, I'll come back after this dries. I won't do the next part. Okay, I'm going to try putting some soft tone on this color, on this horse, because I'm just curious to see what it do. And if it looks like crap, I'll go on to the next plan. Right now it's just way too light. I need to put something on there to see what it'll do. Uh, put a drop of long and medium in there. A little more pull in that little bit. One drop of water. And then a little more. I have no idea what this is going to look like. I'm just going to around, like, mess around. Sometimes it's not the best thing to do. I've lightened it up too much. You've lightened it up too much. Looking better though. <laughs> Back legs. A little more like what I'm looking for. I might have lightened it a little too much. Put it on her thick though, that seems to be pretty good. That's starting to look pretty good. Soft tone mixed with mummy white. Not bad, not bad. Better than I did look before. Nice mixture of the two. Yeah, that's starting to look a little more creamy than a horse should be, I think. There's some of this excess.
I don't know if you can see that or not. Where was that light? Definitely looks a little better than it did. A lot better, actually. It added just a little more darkness to it. I think that is the one I can live with. I like that color. Kind of got like a velvety sheen to it, like horses do. What you call it? I mean, that's what I call it. But I'm no expert for anything, especially horses. But. I think that looks pretty neat the way it is right now. I don't even know if you can tell on the camera though. But we're definitely going to be done with that and move on. I said that last time, but I keep coming back to it. But yeah, we're definitely done with it for now. I mean, I might add another soft tone layer to it later on, but not right now. We're going to do the saddle parts with this uh, two thin coats boar hide. It's a reddish brown. I'm not going to do it until it dries, so I'll come back in a minute, little while. Well, here we go. Uh, this video is getting to be really long. This is only part one. I've got basically nothing done. I don't know. I'm up to like probably 35 minutes, and all I've got is this. I mean, I did do priming and sticking the skewer in the dude. But... I don't know, all I've really got color-wise is this. So we're going to do one more color, and that's going to have to be it for this video. It's kind of not much to it. We'll have to start on part two, but let's get going on this. Otherwise, it's going to be longer, 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 longer I take. So I'm going to paint the black on the main tail and the hooves. Look at my hooves. Look at my hooves. Look at my hooves. Get that done and make this a video because I'm just, I don't know what's, I'm not. Okay, I think we're good now. Where are we going? Where the hell is that? Oh my God. It's a handle of that paintbrush. That's almost peeking out of my water at me. I'm losing it. I'm almost crawling on the edge here. Yeah, I'm a bit windy today. Just a little bit. On this brush. So it's sitting there. I don't know how to get anything on it. Okay, uh, this will be it for this round. I'm going to make this part one. We didn't get very far yet. <laughs> Honestly, for as long as this video is going to be, not a whole lot accomplished. But the next video will definitely have a lot more accomplished. I'm going to screw around with the paints that I've never used. I've got a good plan for this horse. Uh, hopefully somebody will vote for the color of this guy. Otherwise, I'm just going to do my golden brown idea that I have and move on. So we're coming up on the point where I'm just going to have to give up on that. I mean, I'll get seven subscribers, so I don't really expect anybody to comment or vote. There's just not that many people to vote. Maybe somebody will, though. Okay, well, I will see you in part two. Well, here we go. Uh, this video is getting to be really long. This is only part one. I've got basically nothing done. I don't know. I'm up to like probably 35 minutes and all I've got is this. I mean, I did do priming and sticking the skewer in the dude. But I don't know. All I've really got color-wise is this. So we're going to do one more color and that's going to be it for this video. It's kind of not much to it. I'm going to start on part two. But let's get going on this. Otherwise, it's going to be longer, 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 longer I take. So I'm going to paint the black on the main tail and the hooves. Look at my hooves. Look at my hooves. Look at my hooves. Get that done. Make this a video because I'm just, I don't know what's, I'm excited to go over that twice and still doesn't have enough on it. Okay. There we go. Oh, dang it. I don't like that going on that light color at all. Okay. Should have been more careful. I use this black Templar for the main tail a lot of times. Works out really good, I think. Oh, dang it. I hit it again. Get the microphone and I twitched. Uh, for it dries. Come on, dude. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. It's just like leaking right on. Getting worse and worse. Come on, pop it. I'm gonna get a little darker tint. The butt's gonna be nice. Darker. I should give it a pretty good tone. I should do that whole thing. I don't think that would be easy to do though. Okay, it's not gonna do that tail anymore. It's been bad luck. Moving on. Well, oh my god, I give up. I can't paint for shit today. This is the next day from all the other video parts I did. Slept. 
My painting is terrible right now. Can't see the lines. That's all right. I'll figure it out later. Fix it. It's not that big a deal, I guess. Just a little bit. I get kind of picky at times. And other times I don't care. See the hooves, look at my hooves. Look at my hooves. Oh shit. I'm a terrible day. <laughs> Gotta work tonight, yay. Back to no videos, no painting, probably for the next four or five days. Too dang exhausted to do anything. Yay. You wanna give me a bunch of money so I can sit and paint? Every day, all day, yes, that would be awesome. Help me out, rich guys. I never have to work again. I'm going to sit and paint for you. I will take all your requests. I don't want to work. I'm working my whole life. I'm sick of it. I'm age now where I can't do it as well. It's taking its toll. The more I can take. Yeah, look at my hooves. Oh my god, why the fuck? No. Oh, I lost this brush. Or what the fuck? I can't hit a fucking spot for shit today. I am going way out of bounds here. Usually I'm pretty good at this. God dang, I'm terrible today. But I made the hooves look pretty good. Not today. I didn't do the hooves. Okay, I think that's all the black I need for now. There's a little tuft of hair on the bottom of his head, but I think we'll make up a different color. I think it's hanging off the leather strap. It's light hair, not light hair. Some kind of dangling thing. Looks like goatee. Horse goatee. So many goddamn times. That's why I'm freaking hard. Hell. Oh. Somebody clean this shit up. Alright, I'll slap some strong tone in here. Twilight Zone today. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Like, weird as hell. I've never seen paint do this shit before. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. But I end up going over the whole thing with like a strong tone at the very end, just give it all one. Usually it draws everything together real nice. If you go over the whole thing with a light wash or something, things all paint kind of seam together. A lot of times at least. Um. Anyway, there's the mane and tail. It's starting to look like a horse. You know, the painting's not very good that I've done. Freaking especially this morning. Oh my god, dude. I gotta do a little more. Nothing there. Crazy. Sometimes speed paint after it dries, it's just like nothing. Like there's air bubbles or something in it. They pop and then there's little missing patches. But that can all be fixed by wash later on too. Fills in all that stuff that I missed. Main body horse. I am just not paying attention today. Get with the program here. What happened? The war up here on the head. Come on. Well, tough spot to hit. A little tough to hear those between his ears. Another thing is I usually don't do light horses, so black against the dark brown wouldn't be a big deal, but black against the white cream color. I'd be a little more careful. I'm not. Okay, I think we're good now. Weird old guy trying to clean the hell is that? Oh, let's handle that paintbrush. Got someone peeking out of the water at me. I am losing it. I'm crawling on the edge here. Yeah, I'm a bit windy today. Just to leave it. On this brush. It's been sitting there. I don't know how to get anything on it. Okay, uh, this will be it for this round. I'm going to make this part one. I didn't get very far yet, <laughs> honestly, for as long as this video is going to be not a whole lot accomplished. But the next video will definitely have a lot more accomplished. I'm not going to screw around with the paints that I've never used. I've got a good plan for this horse. Uh, hopefully somebody will vote for the color of the sky. Otherwise, I'm just going to do my golden brown idea that I have and move on. So we're coming up on a point where I'm just going to have to give up on that. I mean, I've got seven subscribers, so I don't really expect anybody to comment or vote. There's just not that many people to vote. Maybe somebody will, though. Okay, well, I will see you in part two.